Yo, what is going on guys? In this video, we're gonna be diving in to the brand new changes coming to Alliance Quest. Now this is extremely important because when the community exploded with all the feedback about the game and what everyone wants changed, one of the, the most popular topics was Alliance Quest and what needs to be changed. So this is extremely important. Some of the changes that are really gonna be coming to Alliance Quest. So we're gonna jump in here. Now I apologize, it was, I originally I did this all in one video, but it was like, 20 some minute video so I decided to just chop it up into two this video is solely focused on the Alliance Quest stuff so yeah let's jump to it well I, I kind of skipped that we can read that first and then go to the Alliance Quest page so here's what I didn't read in early July we'll be giving Alliance Quest a uh, mid-season revamp that will refresh encounters change up rewards and add a new tier of Alliance Quest modifiers that will reward summoners brave enough to take them on with high tier materials like tier 5 class catalyst fragments uh, these updates have been in the work for several months now. We know that they do not address all of your concerns in regards to Alliance Quest and are still exploring other pain points in Alliance Quest that players uh, have surfaced. Alliance Quest are a fundamental part of the Alliance experience in the contest and they require commitment uh, from before you even start the map. These improvements will alleviate some of the burden that resource donations have on individual summoners and make sure that they are rewarded for their efforts. So here is the full-on Alliance page. So, introducing Alliance tickets. Summoners, starting in June, we're going to be saying goodbye to the Alliance Treasury and introducing a new method of Alliance Quest map entry that will give summoners more choice in the resources they use to join Alliance Quest and reduce the resource costs of Alliance Quest. Alliance tickets are only needed to enter map 6 and map 7, and map 5 will now be free. So, that's cool. Map 5 is free now. So, introducing Alliance tickets. So starting June 10th, Alliance leadership will be able to start any map of Alliance quests at no cost. Summoners will use Alliance tickets to pay an entry fee to map 6 or map 7. The Alliance ticket price for entry is 15 tickets for map 7 and 30 tickets for map 7. Uh, did I read that wrong? 15 tickets for map 6 and 30 tickets for map 7. Map 5 uh, joins the roster of free maps. This means no cost for anybody to run map 1 to 5. Tickets are for your own individual account and cannot be used to grant entry for anybody else. So there's no more covering donations now. There's no more donating to a treasury. You pay your own way to join the Alliance Quest map. So why change? Alliance tickets serve three major purposes. Give more autonomy over the resources you use to enter Alliance Quest. Reduce the cost of running Alliance Quest maps. Put a stop to fraudulent and illicit activities like resource loaders. So if you guys aren't already aware of this, most of the top alliances in the game uh, will have someone join their alliance, uh, and just a lot of alliances in the game that run map 7, map 6, to have someone join their alliance, uh, they'll pay this person money, and this person will dump resources into the treasury, gold, battleships, loyalty, that sort of thing. And, uh, you know, it, this is fraudulent and illicit because it, it, it's, it's tough because there's a way to do it legit, and then there's a way that it's done probably by most people. The way to do it legit is, you know, you have a second account, you grind that second account, you play a lot of arena on it, you build up resources, then you join the uh, alliance of your main account and just donate all the resources to cover your main account. That's perfectly fine to do. There's nothing wrong with that. That's not against the terms of service. That's fine to do. But what a lot of people do uh, is, People don't know where these resources they're buying are coming from. You know, is this guy just an arena merc that plays a bunch of arena? Is it someone who has stolen credit cards to buy these resources? Uh, you know, like is it an arena botter? You know, like you don't know. And so that's why it's such a, a bad thing for these resource loaders and all that. So this is pretty much gonna just stop that completely. There's gonna be no more resource loaders, resource drops, um, nothing like that with this new ticket system. So. How do I get Alliance tickets? Alliance tickets can be purchased for gold, battle chips, loyalty units, or in the unit store. So now, instead of paying a Merc for uh, your resources to do map seven, you can pay Kabam with real money, or you can still use gold, battle chips, loyalty, or units to do it. So I think this is a good change overall. It puts a stop to all the uh, illegal donation drop sort of thing. Uh, and it's, it lets you still use gold, battleships, loyalty the units, uh, and it's reduced now, a reduced cost. Or, you know, if you want to go the route of just uh, saving your resources and using money to pay for your donations or Alliance tickets, you know, you can go that route. Instead of doing it the wrong way, now you're doing it the legit way using money to get them. 
So what resources you want to spend on the tickets are up to you. Uh, you have the choice of what resources you want to use to enter Alliance Quest and are not uh, tied to Treasury donations any longer. They will also remain in your resources and move with you if you change alliances. If you're an uh, arena grinder with a lot of battle chips in your resources, you can use battle chips to purchase tickets. If you got a lot of gold burning a hole in your pocket, you can purchase tickets with gold. If you've grown accustomed to using gold, battle chips, and loyalty, you can still do that. You'll also be able to purchase alliance tickets in the unit store as well. So what happens to the treasury? Starting today, alliances will no longer be able to donate to their alliance treasuries. On Wednesday, June 3rd, summoners will receive an in-game message that contains a number of alliance quest tickets equivalent to their last five months of donations in excess uh, of your regular map costs. Regardless of which alliance you may have donated them to, this means that you will get unused resources back, not all resources that were donated. You'll also get two free series of Alliance Quests uh, while we move to the new Alliance Ticket System. Alliance Quests that run May 25th to June 7th will feature no map cost. So that's nice, two free weeks. But what this means, so all the Alliances that paid a Merc to drop resources in their Alliance, and these people pay any hundreds to thousands of dollars for resources to build up their treasury, they're gonna get screwed. So all the people, that paid for these resources, they're, they're gonna get screwed because whoever donated those resources are gonna get the tickets for them. So the Merc that came into the Alliance to drop the resources, uh, they're gonna get any of those tickets, not the uh, Alliance that paid for them, which, <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's the way it, uh, it's gonna be with this. Uh, and you know, if you donated uh, legitly and your resources weren't used, you're gonna get those tickets back. And it doesn't matter if it was an, an alliance uh, up to five months ago, which is a pretty good amount of time. Uh, so you know, if you like five, three months ago, you donated to alliance for a couple weeks and they kicked you early, uh, you know, hopefully you should get those resources back. So how much do the tickets cost? So tickets are sold on a scaling cost similar to items in the glory store. The more you purchase with just one resource, the more that it will cost you using a variety of resources will be the most cost effective way to use Alliance tickets. For example, if purchased 150 Alliance tickets, one week of map seven and spread them out equally between gold, battle chips and loyalty, 50 each, they would cost uh, 366,000 gold, 37,000 loyalty, 48,000 battle chips cost to purchase an alliance ticket with units does not scale and each ticket will cost three units to compare and please don't uh, do this unless you have a lot of one resource if you purchase the same 150 tickets with only gold it will cost 1.3 mil gold still better to spread out the costs the scaling cost will reset on the same schedule as glory stores uh, so the timeline to summarize the timeline may 22nd today um, Close donations to the Alliance Treasury, May 25th to June 7th, two weeks of free Alliance Quest, June 3rd, summoners will receive an Alliance ticket refund. Uh, and then, you can't read that, what does that say? Uh, June 10th, Alliance tickets are usable for Alliance Quest, map six and seven, map five is permanently free. So that's pretty much it, but I also have a little bit more for you guys here. Uh, so here is the cost in the store for these tickets. So for two bucks, you can get 15 tickets, for 10 bucks, 150 tickets, and for 30 bucks, 600 tickets. So I did the math. So for, if you're doing map seven uh, and you go the $30 route, this uh, equals four weeks of map seven. So that's what I'm probably gonna end up doing. Just pick up this, uh, and then that's four weeks of uh, my map seven covered. Uh, but you know, you can do it whatever way you want. Um, and as far as how it works right now at the top, I've heard of prices. Um, uh, we were talking in the Conquer program uh, chat about this, and someone was saying they heard prices like five to six bucks, which is pretty cheap. I've heard prices of one week. Uh, anti uh, it's gonna be this is all edited weird, but basically I've heard prices of one week maps for like ten dollars. So here you're getting uh, four weeks for $30. That's pretty good um, to what I think what the Mercs are charging. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what the Mercs are charging uh, these days. I have, I have no idea. But uh, yeah, like this doesn't seem too bad for me. And then this way I can save my gold up because I need my gold these days uh, and won't have to do arena. So that's probably what I'm going to be doing. 
But uh, yeah, I like that. It's flexible. You know, you really have the option to do what you want here. All right, guys, so that's all I got for you with the alliance changes. I hope you did enjoy. I really am interested to hear you guys' feedback on what you think about all this. So let me know down in the comments uh, if you think it's a good start. You know, what else you think Kabam really needs to change. And hopefully more changes are coming in the pipeline. It sounds like they, they are, you know, seeing is believing. So, you know, uh, it's, it's tough to give them the benefit of the doubt sometimes. But uh, I feel like they are working hard uh, and they've listened to our feedback. So, yeah, I'm very interested to hear your guys' uh, thoughts, opinions, comments, feedback, anything down below. You know, let me know. And if you enjoyed me breaking this down, bringing the information, I do appreciate a like on the video. That is all. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.